All right. I have to figure out where to build these things. I've got 24 feet up here before it drops off and drops off in the front. And I want to build 30 foot pontoons. So that means while I'm, you know, I can build one half no problem. And then I'll have to have the already made half hanging off the end by at least six feet to get the other end into the mold and make the whole 30 foot long thing. I guess that might be reasonable. The other option is to go to the island over there. There's plenty of space. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's see. Ah, swims. Hey, there's my other island over there. A little bump. Oh, I love it here. I think that looks wide enough. Tell me when you want me to start. It's already started. Oh. Cool.
looking good. I just need to work on the internal surface now. Now because I made my original flat sheet in three sections, because I didn't have a big enough thing to do it all at once, I have these seams. Which are almost perfectly smooth in some spots, and then other spots, eh, not so great. Still pretty good though. Uh, so I have to do something to smooth that out. All right, and because I wanted this seam in the middle so that the whole thing could flex out, I'll have to, I don't know, put some silicone in there or something. I think I can build the pontoons there and assemble everything right here and then at high tide whoop. oh right I stole the tarp that was keeping my fiberglass dry I guess I better take those to the island hey nice whiskers turkey there's all my fiberglass nice and dry and my concrete staying dry good job guys Going through here, it looks like the seam is actually pretty smooth the whole way down. There's just a few spots with little indents. But I'm thinking I can fill those in with wax, because I'm planning to put a lot of wax in this anyway. Because with all the work I put into it, I really don't want my pontoons to stick. Besides, if there's a, a few little bumps at the end, I can just run sandpaper over that once. To get them off. Mmm, wax. Start. I just have to wait. I put a can and a half of wax on there so far. I filled in this big crack along the bottom with wax, so I'll probably have to go over that a couple times. And it'll probably take, I don't know, more than a day to dry anyway. And I've learned from doing this that I need to let the wax completely dry out before I put any fiberglass on. Because, uh, the, the paste wax, it's like wax in a solvent. And so you put it on and then the solvent dissolves and then the wax gets pretty solid um, and hard. Not really hard, but like wax. Um, and then you can put your uh, resin on it and everything's cool. It'll, the resin will separate easily. But if you put the resin on when there's still solvent in the wax, the wax will dissolve yeah, it'll dissolve right into the resin and then the resin will stick to your mold or whatever you're trying to make it not stick to. So I've learned to be very patient with this step. And it is so much easier to get the wax up into that front corner than it was on my previous mold that did not open. <laughs> 